it's not numbers on paper. It's about getting that power onto the ground. And this is why we're testing it here. And I'm keeping and at 60. I'm at 60. So I'm pretty happy. But if we were heavier, yeah, well, then we would be going slower. This is the year of the new heavy duty pickup truck. And we're starting it with a bang. Ah, 2024 Chevy Silverado 2500 High Country. And we're doing a super Ike with it. Yes, we're gonna take it on the world's toughest towing test and see how it does with a giant trailer. We are right now at the top of the world because in front of us is the Eisenhower Johnson tunnels. Yes. Continental Divide. We have Loveland ski area, but more importantly, we have a big trailer. So I want to add it to the brand new Chevy system here. Okay. So let me try that now. So I'm going to call it, this is Diamond C, right? Yes, Diamond C. Conventional fifth wheel or gooseneck. We're using a gooseneck today. Right, you're right, gooseneck. A 35 footer, it's a big gooseneck. Yeah, it's a big boy. Uh, cargo, flat, horse, utility, it's, it's travel, life, trailer maintenance. This is cool. So the truck is remembering how many miles we put on with the trailer. Oh, yeah. See, yeah. So it will remind us about tire pressures. Uh, we can set up those monitors as well. So do you have to program uh, trailer maintenance that you want to pack the bearings in 5,000 miles? You could tell it. Miles. Yeah. That's cool. That's How neat. many miles are you on your trailer already? Well, yeah. this is a brand new trailer from our friends at Complete Trailers. Cool. That's good. So check them out using the link below. It's an awesome trailer. So I'm going to say I'm only at 100 miles already with this trailer check for leaks i did that tire condition is brand new wheel bearings brand new custom rem by the way we burnished the brakes in oh you did yeah because they were a little squeaky rotated at first. Off and on and on, or just by driving up here hitting the brakes. yeah i was using them well, quite that's good. heavily it's important, especially these are drum electric so burnishment's important it's not on disc but it is on drums you're, you're wheel good. bearings see it's recommending certain services yeah that's cool so this is nice okay so now so on the way here, this new feature is here. Um, it's, it's called Gross Combined Weight Alert. And it's telling me that I may be overweight. Do you believe it? Well, I had a big breakfast. <laughs> so, well, you weighed the trailer, so I don't We weighed it, so we are at maximum load. Yeah, so we're not over, but it's going we're to be over. How do you have to get rid of that thing? That... I can say turn off. Okay, well, let's see. It's basically measuring my throttle acceleration, yeah, uh, what thing. I'm what I'm asking from the truck, and what the truck is delivering, and it's telling me I'm pretty heavy, which is true. I am pretty heavy. Yeah, but for what? If you're at the maximum capacity, you're not like overloaded. Is, is this like AI or is this an algorithm? Oh, dude, this is 2024. Oh my goodness. This is. Hold on, I need to be safe here. I'm, That's I'm a good merging. Thing. Oh, look, there's not a lot of traffic. Whoa, could you feel that Duramax? Yeah, that's good. And we're actually going uphill at the point of the tunnel all the way through. All right, so um, let's uh, pause for a second and then start the downhill. Okay. Mr. Truck, we're about to pop out of the tunnel with this fully redesigned 2024 Chevy Silverado Heavy Duty 2500. And I'm going to use um, the same procedure as with um, half-ton trucks, 50 miles an hour. How about that? Oh, cool. But you know what else pops out of the tunnel? What? Store.mrtruck.com, where you uh, buy all your accessories. That's what, that's what you do, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> awesome. So my exhaust brake is enabled right there. Oh, yes. That's I good. popped out at 50 miles an hour like we always do. And we count brake applications, so we cannot go over the speed limit. Right. right? Well, this will be interesting to see if the brake, if the brake is also in, in tow haul mode. Yep. So we're doing all that plus the exhaust brake. I mean, this remember these these heavy duties get to where they can really lock that in uh -huh. and hopefully hold us at the speed you want. You're at 54 now, and now 55. So hopefully there'll be like one brake application. Yeah, right? that's 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 kind of what, how it's worked in the past. So hopefully, and this is a more powerful engine, more powerful torque and horsepower. Yeah. So we'll see if that you know helps maybe some of the back pressure. I don't know. We'll find out. Okay. So right now I'm I'm increasing my speed, but I'm about to apply my brake for the first time. 
at 61 miles an hour because 60 is the is the speed limit so i'm breaking it down okay that's number one. Ooh, look it downshifted nicely what's the rpm 3300 okay well that's good that's and remember the, the duramax end. actually can over rev yeah that's true on the they, they shut up the fuel and they just let it wrap all the, over the place and that's it's worked for them and this is our test trailer we got this from complete trailers the diamond c it's like a hot shot trailer dual jacks it's 35 feet long it's got steps everywhere i mean these things are all over the place if you want to climb up there it is and it's loud you got a rub rail you got a toolbox on the side up here that's a chain rack you flip that lid over and you hang your chains from there so they don't get all tangled up oh here's my this model is going to demonstrate how this chain thing works did so you call me a model into there isn't that cool yes yes I've had one of these. I love those oh, chain Mr. racks. Mr. Truck, look. There's oh, also a it's two, got a receiver in, hitch in case you want to put another trailer on top of it, right? No, no. Uh, maybe a winch. Oh, yeah. That's uh, good. Maybe uh, a winch or something? A winch would work good up there. Okay. We got two 12,000-pound axles, oil bath hubs, so you don't have to grease it. And then it's got really good latch downs. This is the, the, the max ramp, and you can even tie it down so it doesn't bounce. Because a lot of these ramps bounce all over. These are really cool. Matt, they're very heavy, but they're max ramps. It's got springs on it. So even Andre could probably flip this over. Oh, watch. Here's my model again. He's a, he's a hand model. Watch his hands. That is so cool. Look at that. Look at that. Nothing to it. It's feather light. This guy can do anything. But that is so cool. And that's a nice rake, a good angle, and it doesn't make noise. You know what else they added for this year? Because this is a kind of a next update for their truck. What's that? They added adaptive cruise but also with towing. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, I, I know Ford did that a while back. I'm glad to see Chevy doing that because that's where it really helps you. Because if we yeah. could do that, we wouldn't have any brake applications. Right, but, or if, if we will have brake applications using adaptive cruise, we won't realize it's braking, right? Yeah, that's true. Because I wouldn't be touching the, the brake pedal. Right, and hopefully downhill like this, with adaptive, it wouldn't really wear your brakes out more. Do you think it would cause more brake wear? I, well, I would be. Af I'll be afraid of that. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Make you think about that. Are we going to take the runaway truck? Let's ramp? try it. There's a lot of snow on it. <laughs> Wait, how cool is that? Wow, this is a bumpy section of the road. Yeah, and it's well. That's the chain side for this side. If they got the chains on, not going to keep taking them off and on. Yes. They'll leave them on. So that's what happens to even the downhill. We get chain damage. So, Mr. Truck, I used my brake once. I, I brought it back to 50 miles an hour, and now it's at 44 and falling. Remember how this used to do that? We, so it wants, we used to have to speed them up because that's what they would do. It wants to slow down to nothing. Yes, so what, now what are you going to do? How are let you going to Let me this? see if it's... I don't, nope, there's only one setting, either on or off. Okay. You know how in the Ram they have automatic settings? Yes, yeah. So it'll maintain that particular speed? Right, right. And these are the ones, I think it was a Ford and Chevy. In the past, we've had to actually speed up. So we didn't just stop in the middle of the highway. But you know what? Even though you know we're towing sixteen thousand five hundred pounds, right? Which is in the particular case, this is near the maximum of this yeah, truck. It's a super hike, of course. Yes. yes. But you would think, is it gonna sway? Is it gonna be uncomfortable? No. It's, yeah. it's still very stable. Well it is. Well goosenecks are very stable. So do you want to speed up to fifty and see if it holds it there next time? I want to be near fifty because 50 is kind of like our control point. Okay, right? well, let's speed it's up always, to 50, see what happens. It's, what always, it's always our control point. So let yeah. me apply a little bit of accelerator. Yeah, the RPMs are fairly high it's for near, where it's at. It's almost at 3,000 now. Yeah. I am recording this session using the Banks i Dash Data Monster. Yeah. So we'll have a little bit more data. Uh, but right now, my transmission is happy 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah. This is good. Mr. Truck, I don't know if you noticed the styling on the front. We'll talk about that later. Yeah, it looks but, different. But they also redesigned part of this hood on the inlet here on the hood scoop. They made it a little bit more bigger and more pronounced. Oh, your hat! You lost your hat! Uh, we'll get that later. Wait, wait! <laughs> wait! No! no. <laughs> oh my gosh, it really took off! Holy cow! Get on the highway and stop it! Jump on the highway, quick! Ah. <sighs> I should have worn my stampede strings. <laughs> I got it. Holy cow, I can't even figure out. Oh, is that, is that right? Does that look? Oh, geez, it's got punched out in the back. Oh my gosh, look at all this. 
Holy cow, I gotta reshape this thing now. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm ready. Here's the truck. Yes, sir. Remember, <laughs> you got your hat? I got my hat. Okay, remember in 2020 when they redesigned this puppy, yeah. they gave it a big fan. Right? Yes. The larger cooling fan. Yes. Big, huge grill, big radiator. And now they changed the fuel system, the injections, uh, the turbocharger is repositioned. So they changed a bunch of things and they increased the power. And it still has the nipple. Oh, yes. that nipple. This is your favorite thing. Gets the dust out, you knock it out of there because yes. otherwise this, the air comes into here from the hood. Yes. It goes into the air filter. And also more from the, it also comes in from the fender, right? Yeah, that's so cool. So two paths. Good deal. But 470 horsepower. And 975 pound-feet of torque. Yes, and a 10 speed. Yes. But it's an Allison branded 10 speed. Right, they always work together, Allison and GM there General you go. Motors. What they did for 2024, right? Because it's a highly competitive segment, right? Yes. Uh, because, of course, Ford is completely redesigned their Super Duty this year, and those trucks are already coming on sale. This is already on sale. Really? Um, and then Ram's new truck technically is out as well, the 23 Ram Heavy Duty. And Ram did minor changes, right? They right. did camera mirror for the center mirror, uh -huh. they did uh, new hood, they did new mirrors, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Um, and Ford completely redesigned that truck, so GM had to really step up. Yeah, yeah. Right? And I think they did it with this nice interior as well. Yeah, it's got a bigger screen here in the middle yeah. and some other things. What do you think about this high country interior? Well, you know, they're trying to compete with Denali in their own segment and their own <laughs> cousin. So I, I don't know. I, I it's, it's it's not not dramatically changed in the high country other than the bigger screen and, and you know the grills changed a little bit and the headlights a little bit. But what do you? Well, I still like the brake control where it's at. That's good. Positioning is good. Yeah, I like that physical buttons for the climate control. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, I I love. Uh, well, I like that my exhaust brake is here, but it's actually on a different side. My tow haul mode is on my left knee. Uh huh. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and my exhaust brake is here, so it's a little bit. Sometimes you have to search for the right. buttons. Right, and you know? that tow haul mode is that knob that's right next to the light knob. It looks exactly the same, so you got to look at it before you touch it. And then it's a little tricky getting tow haul mode. I mean, you got to really just kind of really be slowly play with the knob. I've always had trouble with that knob on tow haul mode on that configuration, but it's whatever works. But yeah. Well, look. So I accelerated to 50. Now we're for it worth 47. Uh. I would, I'm fairly happy. Like, I know if I set my cruise control system now, it would probably maintain 50. Yeah, so it's right? still, it won't stay at 50 after you sped it up to 50. It's, it, it wants to bring me down, but, but going a little bit slower is better, especially with a heavy load, than accelerating out of control. Well, you don't want to accelerate out of control. That's, you're right there. But do you really want the machine in control of your truck? Or well, do you let, want to let have me some do this. Control? Let me set the cruise control. Ah, adaptive. Look, look at that. Oh yeah, there you go. Well, now, but now adapting uh, it up to fifty. Will, will it drive for me? Is there like hands off? No, it uh, won't drive for me. Well, now look at that. It's dropping to forty-seven. Use your adaptive to get it up to fifty. I did. 50. Oh, I you did. did? What's well, not fifty now? What's it doing? Well, it's trying. Look. Is it? Oh, there we go. It finally woke up. There we are. Fifty. Good. Good. So, Mr. Truck, we're done. This is the end of the Ike. This is eight miles stretch. And we uh, were stuck in one break. One break. Well, that's good. That's what kind of I expected. I, I, I would and rather, yeah, I, I would rather you run the machine than the machine run you. Like, <laughs> what is those Terminator movies? <laughs> I don't think it's. Uh, I don't think it has a, its own mind. Well, when AI gets conscience. AI gets full blown, man. You, <laughs> what it's you, telling me, it was telling me I was overweight. Did you see that? If if you were overweight, that whether or not that one's accurate. I wasn't overweight. You weren't. We so weren't. it's it's lying to you. Well, so it's, not, it's, it's, it's trying to help me by warning me, but I agree, it needs to be correct. Yeah, yeah if it's not accurate, it's, it's useless. It doesn't tell you, it doesn't give you a warning at the time. And this is a prototype, not cutting down Chevy. They may just have to do some dialing in on it because it is. This is a new truck, it's a prototype. And, well, it's a pre-production, they call it. Okay, that kind of thing. So I'm sure they'll dial it all in. So one brake application, let's turn around and let's head up the eye gauntlet. Cool. And this is how you know it's a new truck because for LTZ and the high country, they completely redesigned the headlamp and the grill. What do you think? 
Well, that's cool. That's cool. That is a blinker different because I noticed it started with in stages when it was on. Oh yeah, let me let me try it. Hold on. Oh, this is just for Toyota. Notice there's some tow hooks on the front here. So it is really premium. I mean, I think I did. They did a good job. Well, they did something different once I saw it. It started here, and then boom, boom, boom. Well, it's Can a you... welcoming. Oh. It's like oh. when you first unlock it. Oh, I see. It's kind of like a welcoming sign. It's it's welcoming you to the truck. Yeah, it's not like a C clamp by any means. We're on our way up. This is a really congested intersection. You did well there, new Mr. Truck. Oh, thank you. Why you, Why you keep calling me new Mr. Truck? Because I think you're going to take over someday, and I'll, I'm just going to stay home and, and, and watch my investments. Can you watch my videos? Yes. All right, are you I'll ready with your videos. timer? I am. I am ready. Okay, we're starting at 35 miles an hour, and I'm going to tell you when I can reach 60 miles an hour. And now. I reset my trip meter. I'm merging. Is your pedal to the metal? Yep, I'm fully um, full throttle here, 100% load, 100% throttle at about 55 miles an hour, 58, and 60. 23 and a half. Okay, well, for a heavy duty beast, and we haven't really, you know, tested, um, I mean, we tested heavy duty trucks on the Ike last time, like two and a half years ago. Yeah, was we similar to the 16,000. Those were dualies. Yeah. Those were big, big, yeah. big fat dualies. And yeah. that will still come. It's a truck. I got a pass here. I'm going the fast lane. There's a hot shotter. There's a giant camper. Pull I got to yeah. pass them. Well, you're doing 60. You're fine. You're even, in your words, legal. Yes. So uh, some people might be asking, you know how for semi trucks they have a different speed limit here, right? You know they have 35 mile an hour downhill. Yeah. Uh, but you know we're not over 26,000 uh, combined. Right, and that's good. That's so good. So we didn't really have to do that. Right. Yeah, you're legal. You're legal. You got the CDL. You got it. We've got CDLs. Yes. We're the CDL twins. Woohoo! Look at this. Three lanes. I'm passing all the semis. So I measured it unladen. And it was at 41 and a half. And now here it's at 37 and a quarter. Let me check the other side. So it's almost four inches. That's actually quite a bit. Of course, um, it's max. This is a super Ike. Hold on. Let me check the other okay, side. Check stay the other stay side. right there. I'll stay, stay right here. Stay right there. Oh, this is 38 and a quarter. So uh, it averages out to what? You want me 37 to still... and three quarters. So it's about three and a half inches of oh, squat. Well, that's not so bad. Three and a half at maximum. Uh, capacity, which I'm sure we're probably close to maximum payload, but that's that's probably not bad. Three inches with a gooseneck, and you got but, the weight distributed pretty well, the way the equalizers on the springs look. So I think yeah. you did a good job. And also this is leaf sprung rear suspension. Yeah. yeah. Um, so it doesn't have coils or air. Right. General Motors, when are you going to do air suspension? I don't know. They got a lot of leaf on this. There's a whole bunch of leaf springs on this. It. Pretty heavy duty. I'm yeah. surprised it's quite three and a half. It looked stiffer than that, but yeah. And is that a three inch? It's a two and a half. It's a two and a half. Yeah, two and a half inch receiver. Okay. Mr. Truck, there's something else interesting happening because what I have here is the chain hoop for the General Motors truck. Okay. Right? And you see how big this is. Uh-huh. And here's one for a Ram. Well, that's longer too. It's thicker and slightly longer. So this one I got for a Ram kit. This one I got for a Chevrolet kit. They do the same function. They have yeah. this, but why are they different sizes? I, I don't get know. it. Most of these are made by Kurt. I was thinking at one time I've had these and they would fit about everything. So I don't know if something's changed recently or what it is. And then the puck system is different sizes and the oh, placement of it is they different, are. right? And the spacing is totally different. Like these are pretty close together. Yeah. Like on the Ram, they're further apart, which is crazy. I don't get it. it doesn't make any if, sense. If you know why, please let us know. But what do you think about this? Because Ram and Ford are over 1,000 pound feet of torque, and this is 975. It's, it's, it's interesting how they don't feel the need to compete as much as they used to in the old days. I don't know why. Well, that you know is. what they I mean, say, they though, make, right? They, yeah, they say that with what they've done and horsepower and torque, yes. that it's fine. It's not 
numbers on paper. It's about getting that power onto the ground, and this is why we're testing it here. And then put to the ground differently. Well, we're, that's why we're testing. I mean, right now I'm at I'm at a hundred percent throttle. Well, yes, and I'm keeping. And you're at 60. I'm at sixty, so I'm pretty happy. But if we were heavier. If we had a heavier trailer, like a, in a dually, yeah, like nineteen thousand pounds, for instance. Or what about you, thirty thousand pounds? Well, thirty in a dually. Yeah. Well, then we would be going slower. All right, Mr. Truck, we got to get to this. So inside the driver door, this tire and load information. This truck's payload is two thousand nine hundred and ninety-seven pounds, almost three thousand pounds, which is really good, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, for luxury truck like this. Yes. Now, they also have a trailering information sticker. And here it says gooseneck trailer 19,100 for vehicle configuration. You see that? Yeah. That is, but, that's the problem. Well, it wouldn't be the problem because they introduced that sticker when? That like 2019. Uh, light duty times. truck. Yes. Light duty and then next year in the heavy duties. So beautiful information. But I just learned that that 19,100 is not the true rating for this truck. It's not. No. Even though it's on a sticker where the VIN number is? Yes. For this truck? Yes. You have to uh, open up your owner's manual. Then you have to load up your app, the Chevrolet app. Then you have to put your VIN in there. And then you have to, you know, do that process. And the number that General Motors gave me is 16,800. Wow, it's a long ways from the 19,000 number you got in there. So it's about 2,300 pounds away. Oh, my goodness. And so that's that's... That that upsets me. I mean, this is crazy. They told us in 2019, and I interviewed the engineer, you interviewed him, the guys who had put that whole system together, and how it was so simple because the VIN number matched what it really was rated at. Yes. We believed in those, and that's how we did, that's how everybody buying these things did. Because every journalist I know said that. That's what the engineers told us. That's yes. what all our interviews. So how could they possibly now, and who knows when they did it, change it to where that number's not real. The number should always be real. Well, because, yeah, I mean, look at the sticker. It has the VIN of this truck. It has all the information, including the towing. So I know. That so, doesn't make any sense to well, me. Well, think about the millions of customers who bought these trucks since 2018. So we'll need to do more investigation into this and actually compare how Ram and Ford do this as well. You want to measure sound, Mr. Truck? Yes, I do. I do Hold indeed. on. Let, let's clear this section. Okay. Let me be quiet, and then you can start. Okay. It was bouncing between 62 and 63. No way. The quietest truck we've ever tested was a Tundra at 60 decibels. Yeah. And also the Hummer at 60 decibels. Well, when this Duramax first came out, yes. and they had that pilot injection, all that stuff, they were the quietest ones then, and now they're the quietest ones now. I know I said before that I like the sound of the Ram Cummins exhaust brake, right? Right. Or you can, I like that sound. But when you're driving long distance like we are now, no, you don't want heavy sound. That's exactly, that's a good selling point. If I was selling trucks again, I would really brag on the noise level and how quiet it is. You can talk to people like yes. we are doing. Yes. And that's that's a big deal. That is a big deal. Okay, we're a couple seconds away from our mark on time. Are you ready to stop it? Yes. And stop it now. Eight minutes and 12 seconds. Okay, oh, so okay. almost, almost benchmark. Yes, that's actually pretty good. So the perfect time would be eight minutes. Yeah, especially, you know, we're in a super hike. Yes. So we're maxed out, so how can you complain about that? 3.4 miles per gallon, 3.4, that's what it registered. Well, it's a big load, so that's kind of what you'd expect. Well, you know, for big du uh, big dually trucks that we've tested, Yeah. I think there were around three. Yeah. A lot of them, a lot of them. That's what I'm thinking. I don't think it's bad at all for the load we have. Get some more light in here. Well, we're done, dude, uh, with the ups. Uh, Uphill, let's go um, to the parking lot and rate this truck. We have to give the score to the truck. We use the five star scale, so the best the truck can do is five stars. Right. So the first star is for downhill performance. How do you think it did? 
My dad did great, only brakes one time. Yes, but you could also use cruise control if this was your truck. You know, we try to use, uh, we try to avoid cruise control in some of our runs. Right. But I think because of that, I'm super happy. One star. Right. I think that's good. It should be a full star. Cause, you know, it's it's a little hard to, to dis determine that since, you know, we couldn't really watch a great shift like we usually do and all those things that they do when they're coming downhill. But no, I think you're right. One star. One star. Watch the ice. Don't slide. Um, okay. Uphill. The next star is for the uphill. Uphill. Can we do this? Yes. Uh, uphill, almost perfect time. Yes. Uh, efficiency was 3.4. Um, and I was maxed out on power in some areas, but I had a little bit of room of power in other areas. I'm pretty happy. Well, that's good. I like to have a little more power when yeah, sometimes you have to pass somebody, yeah. all those different things. And it was so darn quiet. I mean, that's not exactly about how fast it ran, but it was so quiet under wide open throttle And relaxed. And yes. relaxed. Yes, so it's, one it's star. Very good ride. Yes. Then uh, towing features. These are chain hookups. This is visibility. This is cameras, stuff like that. I think it's really, really strong. I think one star. I think so. A full yeah. star. <laughs> and then uh, fourth star is about suspension, handling, and squat. Well, the handling was really good today. Yes. Uh, but the squat wasn't great. Yeah, three and a half squat. That's borderline. So I think we ought to take off a, a half. I agree. I think this truck is kind of where it was two years ago when uh -huh. it first came out. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so they didn't really improve it a lot. Yeah, I was surprised. Being a new model, no, I thought that, that would be better improved. But, 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 no. but still, the handling is safe. Right. And then finally, it's all about range and efficiency, right? Yeah. So uh, we always do a full loop, about 130 miles, and we'll show that to you in a second. Uh, but three and a half uphill was good for a heavy duty truck on the maximum hardest Ike right but the tank size is not very great it's about 34 gallons well it's not the biggest it's kind of the second place you know all right mr. truck we've made the round trip 140 miles this time 6.8 mpg we predicted about seven right yeah that's right we're, we're right on track of that that's great that's great but how you know how much this thing costs well, yeah, let's talk about it because that's hugely important. It is. This, of course, this is a high country, so it's top of the line, and it's a 2024. Yes. So it's still coming. It's got a, a high country premium package, Z71 package. Yes. It's got many packages. It does. It's really, really. So, what's the final number? Eighty-seven thousand three hundred and forty dollars. Okay, so that sounds like a lot, but. If you were going to configure a fully optioned Ford F-250 Limited or Ram 2500 Limited diesels, I think you could go even higher in those trucks. And we'll do more efficiency testing a little bit later yeah, on a yeah. flat highway. Yeah. So I'm going to take a quarter off. Okay, you know so what that means? What is it? It means four and a quarter stars. All right, and we'll see you next time. Go to OldTFL.com and... and store.mrjordan.com and my hand is froze to my hand. I can't feel my lips. <laughs>